Hello Mass People, Skyak here. Welcome to another Kerbal Space Program memory reduction tutorial. I've had a lot of requests to update that tutorial that I, uh, yeah, it's my most popular video now. Um, and I kind of agree on the need to update it, but I also don't uh, because there isn't really that much that's changed with it. Anyway, I'm doing it. it should take like two minutes. So the first thing you're going to need is CCAN, which you can simply get by going on to the old internet and searching CCAN KSP and bring up the GitHub link. And there should be a download right here ccan.exe, you're going to want to download that let that run and install its thing after that you're going to want to open up ccan you're going to search for active texture management so just go into all compatible mods assuming you are in the latest version of KSP search active, active texture management if you're really low on RAM go for the aggressive it will help with things like if you have multiple parts packs or uh, an updated planetary system. If you're just running it on basic KSP, it isn't really going to do much because Squad did a lot on their end to try and reduce textures and they did a pretty good job with it. But if, again, if you have other uh, models in your game, you may want to go for that. So, so far we have CCAN and Active Texture Management. Um, I already have the aggressive installed because I have a lot of mods and we just hit apply changes and it installs. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to your Kerbal Space Program directory. Mine is under Steam. Uh, right click on the ksp.exe. Now you're going to want to create a shortcut. You can rename the shortcut to something like ksp uh, re KSP reduct reduction. Uh, now the important part: properties. What we're going to be doing now is changing the way your graphics adapter handles the rendering for KSP. Uh, so I have this lovely little piece of the file here. This will be in the description as well. Space hyphen force hyphen D three D eleven. This is what's going to adjust your video adapter to allow for a different rendering procedure. I don't know the most about this. This is just kind of what I understand. So under target, you'll see that this is the directory to your Kerbal Space Program executable. Uh, you're then going to want to paste that at the end, hit apply, and OK. Now move this to your desktop. So bring that back up. So. These two are the same thing, but uh, this is your executable. And uh, KSP might have to run a time or two if you have a lot of mods in order to compress the textures, uh, especially uh, with active texture ma management that might need a, a few times running through it. But it should be fine. Uh, so just have a little bit of patience. And uh, yeah, so I have it right here. Have a little bit of patience, give it a few, if it crashes, run it like two or three times, it should sort itself out. Uh, if you have weird visual artifacts, maybe go back to the first tutorial, look at that one, uh, look in the comments in that one, there's a lot of helpful advice in the first tutorial, I'll link that in the description as well. Uh, I hope this helps, I know there's not that much cha that changed from the first one, but uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching, mass people, and I will... Uh, well, I guess I won't see you in the next episode, but <laughs> I uh, hope this really helps. So uh, see you later.